I have always been fascinated with how things are made. As a child, I would go out into my dad's shop and take things apart, not necessarily put them together, but just, you know, figure out how things worked. The, the fact that I can take a bundle of sticks, basically, and turn it into a beautiful basket just blows my mind. And it's a part of my heritage, too. My great-grandfather emigrated from Russia in 1874 and made his way to the Dakota Territories. In that part of the country, the only wood to speak of was the willow bushes. And so, like any good pioneer, you make do with what you have. So he'd make the baskets, whether it was eggs or wash baskets, you know, anything that they needed containers for, he would make them. I never knew my great-grandfather, and so that is kind of my only connection to him. I have to think that he's like laughing in heaven over this whole, you know, basket weaving as art kind of thing. Most people don't know that a basket is one of the things that cannot be made by a machine. Any basket you see has been made by an actual person. Willow is one of the sturdiest materials you can use, and so willow baskets are a little bit more difficult to weave than, say, if you just use softer reeds. There's no nails, there's no glue. The tension of the willow keeps them in place till they dry, and then you just have a really good, sturdy, usable basket, and hopefully it's beautiful too. You can't make the same basket twice, and I love it. And <laughs> so that's kind of what inspires me too, is being able to create many different styles. And I'm still learning new weaves. But then beyond that, there's just limitless possibilities with uh, colors and uh, size of willow and style. People are really astounded about that. I get asked a lot about, do you dye your willows? And I say, no, that's all natural. <laughs> I, I grow 15 different varieties of willow in my yard, but there's over 300 kinds of willow. Willows are deciduous, so the leaves will drop off, the stems will go dormant, you can see the, what colors they're gonna be. I will cut them all off right at the ground, then as I plan baskets in my head, I will go down and count out the number that I need and bundle that all up into one bundle, put them in a, a soaker for about a week, and then take them out and weave them, and hopefully it'll be something like what was in my head, or maybe it'll turn out to be better, because <laughs> sometimes the willow does what it wants to do, and the willow's always right. <laughs> There's a, a very personal part of you in each piece. You create it out of your own imagination. I like to draw from nature. I want the, a finished basket to look like nature as much as possible. It's just because that's where I connect with spirituality. That's why I like to weave outside. Um, I just like to be out, you know, like we're hearing the birds and being out in the fresh air. That's what feeds my soul is just, is knowing you're creating something and just loving it to the point where you're relaxed and happy about it. <laughs> There's a lot of basket weavers, but um, not very many with the tradition that I have. So that runs deep for me to, to be able to have that connection with the family, the tradition. I just think it's wonderful to have something that's, this is one of a kind. This is the only thing like this anywhere.